Hi everybody, we're Hazyard. I'm Dan Shirky. I'm with Balfour Beauty Construction. We're sister companies, or, or we work together with Howard S. Wright. I'm joined by Keith Walsh, who's with Balfour Beauty Construction too. We're out of San Diego, and we teamed up with IS, Iris VR and Nate and his team. Very good. Um, I'm Nate. I'm with Iris VR, and uh, we're from Burlington, Vermont. So uh, just so we have a speaker. And um, I'm working with Jack and Greg, and uh, we were pretty excited to team up with these guys who know the industry well, so without, without further, further ado here. Yeah. So, so we all met on, I think, Saturday morning, and we were throwing some ideas back and forth, and I brought a dev kit too, because I really wanted to start jumping into VR, and they are a VR company, and it was a very fortuitous meeting, and we said, what, what's the biggest, one of the biggest pain points or issues or hot topics within, within the construction industry, and there's probably nothing closer to our hearts than safety. Um, with, within our industry, and so we thought we need to do something about safety and you, utilize VR to do so. So our idea was let's bring the power of um, virtual reality to, to how we train people with regards to safety. And how we want to do that is we wanted to leverage up the platform called SketchUp. Who's, who's used Seth, SketchUp around here? Very commonly used within the construction industry for site logistics plans, bringing 3D models in in a very simplistic way. And so what we like to do is we, they created a SketchUp plugin in which we could modify SketchUp models that anybody could take this at in this plugin and modify their SketchUp files and add in safe and unsafe conditions, mark them out on their job site, and then we could load it into their virtual reality platform in which they could view them and experience them in virtual reality. So here we are in a SketchUp model of a construction site, and if you go to um, Tools, Keith, and turn on the plugin, um, yeah, a few toolbars, and it's called Hazard Constructor. And what we have here is a series of hazards. Um, and so we've got uh, a flag we've got, which is for your job site trailer. In this case, we want to set a cement truck on the ground here, Keith. And you just drop it once, and then now we can move it around the job site. Um, you could imagine loading a vehicle, and we don't. We want to. One of the important things is to not have people near the front and the back of the vehicle where its path of travel is. Um, we could have um, a safe person on the job site by clicking a green hard hat, and it loads an avatar with proper, um, well, improper personal pr protective equipment and uh, and a red hard hat. Click and so we, we wanted to load safe and unsafe people into the job site. And finally, uh, let's go over to that trench near the center of the building, Keith. And let's make that an unsafe zone, which is that caution button right there. So it's a rectangular extrusion that comes across the surface. And when we go experience that in VR, you'll get to see what happens um, when you walk into unsafe places. So that, in a nutshell, is our, is our SketchUp plugin. Will you go ahead and save that, Keith? And then let's just go ahead and create another file with just some quick dump trucks on it. Okay. And put it on that thumb drive next to your hand. Sure. Sure. So the idea here, um, sort of the idea with, with our software that uh, we created and are working on up in, uh, up in Vermont is we want to make virtual reality accessible using the tools um, that you already use and are familiar with, right? So you don't have to use, learn Unity or learn a game engine, but an entirely new platform to have access to these great 3D um, VR and AR experiences that are coming out now. And that was sort of the, the driving force behind this project as well. Um, we want to make virtual reality and the ability to create your own virtual worlds and virtual simulations um, to, to solve a very important problem like you know creating a safety simulation or tutorial uh, really accessible for anybody using SketchUp. So Keith's just creating another file with like two jump trucks on it and just save that as save that as a truck dump truck and then hand it over to Do you want Jack. to talk a little bit about what your plugin beta does? Sure. Um, so in terms of the technology that's running, excuse me, behind this, we have, uh, thanks, um, the technology that's running behind this, the plugin is just a basic SketchUp plugin, um, and that takes a couple of pre-built uh, models and you can drag and drop them into any scene in any file. So this will work with any model for any job site that you have already. And then I'm going to pass the microphone off um, to our, our developers over here that did uh, the front end. Do you want to talk about your yeah, sure. So um, we decided to sort of take advantage of this uh, beta application that we've already been working on, which uh, takes the SketchUp file and brings that into our virtual um, reality yeah. environment. Um, so we had to add the functionality of reading the new content created by, um, by these hazards, because these hazards aren't normal geometry, but they're 
um, especially when we want to um, let the user have more interactivity with them. Um, so what I was working on was the go-between between SketchUp and um, the game engine that we're using, um, Unity. And so that was um, sort of using the SketchUp uh, C API to read in these different hazards and uh, write them in a way that um, they could be loaded into Unity. Just taking time. Uh, and lastly, I worked with, uh, actually, once these hazards exist in our game engine in Unity, we, we wanted to gamify them so that it would be like a memorable experience that would allow people to, to go through the job site as if it were a video game and uh, accomplish these different objectives. And, and really, like, remember, you know, if, if you play a video game, you know, you're going to remember, like, what works and what doesn't. Uh, and hopefully, like, this is more of an educational experience than simply reading a training manual or, uh, you know, more inconveniently, having to go to the job site in person. Okay, there we go. All right, it's working. We're about to transfer it over and show you the next process. Yeah, so I just wanted to give him a working truck model here, and I swear everything just works slower live. It's just how it happens. Um, but what we're going to move into next is I'm going to wait to plug this in. What's up with this? Let's get him plugged in over here. Well, no, we already got the. We're going to do it on my machine. Hold on. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the. Uh, and of course, my desk top moves around. <laughs> well, no, it's not it. There it is. Jeez. All right. So here we are. So I'm gonna open up their build for their app. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, and then I'm just gonna pull up that SketchUp file for the building. And so what's happening here is it's loading in all the textures and whatnot for the building, and it's. Um, Loading it into their VR plugin, and we need to turn on the Oculus Rift here. Sweet, that's that worked really well. Now he's got a load bar to his right, and it's loading in the model. You got that? He's got an Xbox 360 controller in front of him. And so one of the things we have to do every single time a new person steps onto our job site is we have to orient them to the project, and it's a very repetitive thing because we have hundreds and hundreds of new workers coming on our job site and it's it's an important thing that we take seriously because conditions on the job site change constantly. Well, a lot of project teams already use Google SketchUp to simulate their site utilization plans for their buildings, so you can conceivably keep it up to date and load them into the latest virtual reality instance of their project and brief them on the site conditions without having to even expose an unsafe person um, to a busy job site. And you can also expose them to unique situations that might not be going on yet for a project or even practice uh, a maneuver that's going to occur on the job uh, in virtual reality. So um, if you look around you, Keith, uh, on the left, he's got a green zone, which is the evacuation zone for the project. And then there's even a, a cement truck there. And then to the right, if, as you keep turning to the right, you're going to see a job site trailer and also a guy with a hard hat. And so we're going to go over to that guy with a hard hat as soon as this is done loading. And it's going to talk about this mini game we created within the, within the simulator, where as somebody's going through the job site, we wanted to not only make this a a very good teaching experience for someone going through the job site, but we wanted to make it memorable and fun. And so as they go through the job site, they can point out people who aren't being safe, doing unsafe acts, or wearing proper protective equipment. And so we'll click on that guy. He's actually wearing everything he needs, so they're going to get a negative reaction from the system. And there's actually a scoreboard on the job site trailer. Typically, we put how many days we've gone without a lost time incident on a project. So we start with several hundred days, and then depending on how they perform, their days of safety go up, or if they perform negatively, they go down. So here, Keith is going to approach the worker, and do we have the sound on? Do we? No, of course not. <laughs> um, here, just, just hit him. Go ahead. Okay. The good news is you're fired. So let's do it one more time, just so everybody catches it. All right. So that's the negative treatment. They, they identified somebody that is safe, and, uh, and then their score went down to 60 days, um, and it started from 100. So Keith, why don't you jump over, or sorry, just jump all the way over to the project site, just fly over this building. Um, and you can see we have a crane there. You saw some of these features here. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the walk speed here, and just go around to the front of the building. Turns out you can fly. We have jetpacks on our construction job sites. And, and so they'd be able to explore their job site, um, maybe some work to come on the project that, that they're actually going to be at part of that phase. And, um, and then we also have um, continue past that edge of the building that you're at. 
We also can simulate things like uh, when someone has engaged their fall rest system on a project, um, they've fallen off the roof, they've activated their harness, but we want to time how long it takes for rescue personnel to get across the job site to where this person needs a jetpack to rescue them, and we can time them on how they get back. So someone's in the middle of their simulation, um, and, they're, and they're going through identifying hard hats, and then they hear this. Three horn blasts, that's something we should all be familiar with. That means evacuate the job site, maybe there's a gas leak, anything like that. Then it's a race against time to navigate back to our muster point on the project. And he's frantically using the jet, engaging. And he's gonna land like a paratrooper in the middle of a stadium onto that platform. And he hears a little trigger that says, safe. And uh, if you do that within the time, um, the, you get positive score. And it's just a really powerful way that instead of just pointing at a map or walking over your site utilization plan in 2D to a craftsperson, we can let them experience that firsthand on the workspace that they're in and just test their retention of that knowledge in the VR environment. It's really exciting to think about how well they would enjoy this and then how well they'll, they'll experience that. Um, you have it? I think that's it. Oh, no, no, we got oh, one so more instance got one here. one more instance. <laughs> it's cool. It's, it's totally worth it. <laughs> oh, we need, do you have sound? I need the uh, little square microphone. Oh yeah. We don't need the uh, microphone. Microphone. Yeah. All right. So, two minutes. Oh, we're good. <laughs> well, if they're properly trained on the equipment, it's uh, it's okay. It's the important part, though. Is it on the other screen or something? No, it's uh, just connecting another monitor. Broke it. Oh, uh, you want to try unplugging and replugging? <laughs> so, <laughs> let's just turn it around if, if that's if it's still working. Uh, all right. Well, it's kind of heartbreaking. That's kind of heartbreaking. <laughs> so okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna post the link on our uh, on our website, and um, that'll be. I'll post it to the Facebook page, and you all can actually download a build. Um, you can download the SketchUp plugin. That's all open source. Um, and we invite you to give this a try with a DK1 and soon to come a DK2 uh, as well. So we'll, we'll put that up online, and, uh, and you guys can, can build your own job sites. Uh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyway, what was going to happen is he was going to approach the dump truck, and uh, Kenny Loggins' danger zone was going to come on. Um, to give them feedback that they are in fact in the danger zone and they should call Kenny <laughs> Loggins. Uh, but ultimately, let's make people safer using VR um, and uh, there's a lot of potential there. And thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.